Welcome everyone. Today we're going to talk about the XG firewall, specifically virtual firewall as a service, getting that set up on your partner dashboard, as well as requesting a hardware subscription for your XG firewall. So what we're going to do is cover the different options we have for licensing the XG firewall under the MSP Flex program. The first option is going to be your XG hardware. This is hardware purchased from Sophos. You need to purchase the hardware in advance, and then you can apply a monthly subscription to that from the partner dashboard. The second option has been your XG virtual firewall. This requires you to purchase the virtual base license ahead of time, and then you can go through and apply the monthly subscription. Last is the XG virtual firewall as a service. This allows you to request a monthly virtual base license and subscription for the XG firewall straight from the partner dashboard. Okay, we're gonna start with XG firewall as a service first. From here, we're gonna go in and launch into our dashboards. Again, we're gonna be starting with id.sophos.com and we're gonna walk you through the entire process and things to watch out for when getting this service set up. Okay, so starting with id.sophos.com, once you get logged into your partner account, you're gonna see My Sofas as an option. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click into the My Sofas option. And once we're logged into My Sofas, we wanna to go to Network Protection and then Contact Information. From the contact information, we want to ensure that we have not only the two required fields, both company and country filled in, but that we also have all of the non-required fields filled in as well. Once you verify all the information and hit save changes, this will verify that your MySofos account is now set up and ready to go. From here, we can go ahead and hit log out. Back on the id.sofos.com page, we want to go ahead and launch into our Sofos Central Partner Dashboard. Once in the Sofos Central Partner Dashboard, we we'll want to go to Firewalls. And at the very top right hand side here, you're going to see request virtual firewall. When we click on the request virtual firewall, this is going to bring up a new request for an MSP XG virtual firewall. From here, the first thing we need to do is select the registrant. This is going to be the account that you just set up the My Sophos account for. This is important. You can see there are multiple accounts inside of my particular dashboard. If they are not set up on my Sophos already, you will not be able to request a virtual firewall license. It will fail. So ensure that you select the correct account. You're also going to want to, for ease of management uses on the actual my Sophos account, register all of them to a single account. You can register them to a single person's account, or if you're using the old method that we had with the harbor based license with XG orders, you can create an account inside of Sophos Central going through your add user process for XG orders and continue to register all of those firewalls to the same My Sophos account. I'm going to go ahead and select my private account here. The next thing I'm going to do is select the size. This is going to be your base license that we are selecting. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and select a four core, six gig of RAM system. The next thing we're going to do is select your subscription. For this one, I'm going to select Enterprise Guard Plus. The last option we have is to assign this to a central admin customer. From here, we can go ahead and type in my name. This will go ahead and populate all of the customer, the Sofo central admin accounts with my name. I'm going to select my Steve Weber account. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and click create firewall. You will get your confirmation page with all of the details for the firewall you're requesting the registrant email address, the size of the particular firewall, and the subscription that you're requesting as well as the Sophos Central Admin account it'll be assigned to. If this is all correct, hit save. If your MySophos account was set up correctly and everything went through, you will get a request for virtual firewall confirmation. You will need to copy down your new serial number for that XG firewall. You can absolutely find this in the firewalls list but it's a good idea to go ahead and grab that from here. If you are needing to download the ISO image for the software firewall or the virtual images for both VMware and Hyper-V, you can do that at MySophos. Log into MySophos, go under Network Protection, and go to Download Installers. 
From here, we can see that our virtual firewall was created successfully. And if we look, we can actually see that we have a brand new Sophos virtual firewall, four core, six gig of RAM. And here is my serial number. It is a monthly account and it has Enterprise Guard Plus assigned to it. At any point in time, if we need to make a change to this particular firewall or we need to delete this firewall, we can highlight that firewall and click the edit option. From here, this will bring up the same screen we had before. We can change the size of our firewall. So if you need to move up or down through your core sizes, and also you can change your subscription. You can make it a none subscription. Uh, you can go ahead and make it a full guard plus subscription, whatever you're needing to do inside of this particular device. Hit save firewalls and that'll apply the new components to that serial number. You also have the option here to delete your virtual firewall. This will give you a confirmation asking if you really permanently want to delete this device. It will also have you checkbox that you want to delete this device and you can hit delete. This will remove this virtual firewall from your Sofo Central partner dashboard. Okay, the next thing we're going to take a look at is how to get a subscription onto a hardware based firewall. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to my all firewalls. And we're going to see that I have this SG330 that has been upgraded to XG Firewall. Now, with both virtual and hardware, you need to have a valid purchased base license. In this case, this one is listed as purchased in here, so I will have this add button to add my subscription. If you see the evaluation, this means that you have not applied or have not purchased the base license for your virtual firewall or your hardware firewall. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do with this SG330 firewall is get this moved over to the managed firewalls section. To do this, we're going to go under firewall approvals. We're going to see our SG330 and request not sent. And we're going to go ahead and click on the request to manage. Once we have clicked on the request to manage, what we're going to have to do is we're going to get an email to that account that was registered to, and we're going to have to accept management of that particular firewall. Once you get that email or you log into the My Sophos account for that particular firewall, you can come into your network protection and view devices. From here, we're going to see here's my SG330 firewall, and I have a status approval pending. All I have to do is select that particular account, and at the bottom here, we're going to go ahead and hit accept selected. It's going to again verify that we want to accept management for this particular firewall, and we're going to hit OK. Once you have accepted that, the status one here will change to managed. It'll also show you the partner account that this is currently being managed in. From here, we can now go back to our Sofa Central partner dashboard. From firewall approvals, we can now click over to approved firewalls, and we can now see that I have my SG330 firewall as an approved firewall for management. If I click into my firewalls, under my managed firewalls, we can now see I'm 14 of 14, and we can see that SG330 firewall. Now, from here, on my SG330, I want to go ahead and apply a subscription to this firewall. The only thing you have to do is click on the Add option. Select the subscription that you want to apply to this XG firewall. In this case, we're going to select Enterprise Guard Plus and hit Save. In the past, you would get an email with an activation key. That activation key would have to be applied on the XG firewall itself. With the new method, we are automatically applying that Enterprise Guard Plus to that SG330 and this particular serial number. You can actually log on to that firewall itself if you want to verify that license. It might take some time for the Enterprise Guard Plus to remove itself out of pending and move into an actual subscription. Rest assured that the firewall is being properly licensed and you will have that subscription on that SG firewall for your Enterprise Guard Plus. 
Once your subscription has gone from pending into an actual subscription, you'll see it just like these here. You'll have an option to select that particular firewall subscription. And from here, you can change a subscription to full guard. This is also where you can go in and again, on the hardware based firewall, select it to none to remove the billing for that particular firewall. Okay, at this point, we have an XG virtual firewall as a service set up inside of our partner dashboard. We also know how to go in under our virtual firewall or our hardware based firewall and assign a monthly subscription to them. Thank you for watching this video on MSP licensing options. I hope you guys found this useful. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. We'd be happy to answer them. Thanks.